I'm gonna show you the power of oil pomades and oil products when using Topic hair fibers and how you can create a crisp hairline so you don't have to worry about rain, water, or sweat all day long. Stay tuned. Hey, my fellow follicle frontiersmen, it's DJ from Carrots and Brotherhood. Welcome back to the channel. Carrots and Brotherhood is all about helping you build confidence in your hair loss through positivity, empathy, and transparency. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure you click that subscribe button and also click the little bell to turn on notifications. That way you can be one of the first to receive updates whenever I upload new content. Okay, let's get into how to make this hairline. Of course, you're gonna need your topic hair fibers or any hair fibers, make sure you have that before you start. The next thing you need is an oil pomade or like an oil. Uh, these days I've been using just an oil and you need some kind of cosmetic brush. You need a brush because uh, the brush is what's actually going to push the fibers into the oil. The oil that you put in your hair and keep it glued to your head, okay? So you definitely need a brush. So if you don't have one, pick one up. If you don't know how to use topic hair fibers using oil pomade for the top of your head and also the back of your head, I'll put a link here. You can click that video and you can check out how to apply topic hair fibers. This video specifically made for the hairline because I know a lot of you guys are curious about that so all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to take your oil and you're gonna actually want to apply it into your hairline about maybe a finger width into your hairline all the way across the hairline here um, and as you apply it make sure you actually push it into the to the scalp itself okay and you want to be kind of generous with the oil amount I know in my previous video about how to apply top of hair fibers I told you not to use too much pomade because what will happen is the fibers will just stick uh, where you put them and it's not really good for this part of your head especially when you're trying to blend it in but when we talk about the hairline you actually do want the fibers to stick you don't want them to move that's the point so uh, you want to use more oil or more pomade than you normally would so you want to put it like I said a, winger, a fingers width here and then you also want to put it slightly below the hairline and so you'll notice as I'm putting the oil in I actually put it like right here around my hairline all the way down so let's go ahead and do that go ahead and push this oil in I'm looking in the mirror down here so I just yeah all right so put the oil in like I said make sure you're really generous with the amount of oil but don't don't get too crazy obviously don't 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 fry yourself you're not a piece of chicken like you don't want to be a piece of church's chicken but uh, be pretty generous with it. And also what you'll need is you'll need some kind of wet towel, or in my case, I actually use baby wipes, uh, because baby wipes are just easy. I have a baby, so I have them anyway. Uh, but basically you'll need something to actually clean up the sharpness of the fibers around your, your lining, okay? All right, so we got the oil in. All right, at this point, go ahead and style your lining make sure you get it all straight all right be very careful in this step this is really easy to mess up okay when you open your topic hair fibers they have the sieve we talked about this in the previous video okay now make sure you wipe off the top of your sieve here and then what you're gonna do is you're actually going to open up the fibers just by twisting this top off like this and you're gonna pull the sieve off like that okay just pull off don't Drop the fibers, guys, all right? Don't, don't drop this, if you will, just don't do it, okay? It's, it's a pain in the ass to clean up, and then you have to go spend another you know, 30 to $40 on top of hair fibers, so don't do that. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your brush, and you're gonna be dipping it into the fibers, like this, like that amount. You'll be dipping it in, and then you'll be applying it, or patting it directly into the hairline. And you want to use the brush, you want to push it. You want to push it into the hairline, okay? Push the fibers into the hairline. Uh, if you're trying to like have your hair fibers for you know, a rainy day or that kind of thing, and you just want to make sure that they don't move, then this is the best way that I've found to get the fibers in. Even using the spray, like the little pump spray thing, uh, it gets the fibers to the surface of the hair, um, but it doesn't actually get it to the scalp. And so what I'm actually doing is almost like a painting the scalp with the fibers and then creating a layer on top of the scalp where the hair is, creating another layer of top of your fibers. So once I get that, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the, the sieve, I'll put the sieve back onto the hair fibers. Yes, and then I'll go ahead and do the same thing that I normally do with this tap and pull right here just to fill it in. You can actually see it kind of darkening up a little bit here. Like this. And then also make sure you blend it off to the sides here. So here we are. Right now it's a mess. It looks kind of messed up, but here's what you're gonna do. You're going to actually clean up the hairline now. Because um, the oil is already holding the fibers in. And so what you're actually gonna do is you're actually gonna clean up the hairline with a baby wipe or with your towel, just to get that edge the way you want it to be. Start shaping it up. Go ahead and get some of that excess off.
I guess you could use a, a Q-tip for this part too if you really wanted to, but um, like I said, I feel like I have more control when I just use my finger on the wipe here. And that's it, guys. Like I said, you have some oil on your forehead, so make sure you, you know, wipe some of that oil off too. But it's done. Like, that's it. Like, the hairline is, is done. Now, for those of you that want the really, really crisp cut, now you can go back with your clippers. If you have clippers at your house, you can go back and, you know, use your clippers to, to bring it in more. Or if you have like a little razor, like a little straight blade razor, you can actually just, just shape it up. But that's it, man. And there you go. When you're wearing top of hair fibers, the last thing you want to worry about is are your fibers still in place? And I, like I showed you in the beginning of the video, you can, I can literally dump water on my head right now and these ain't moving. None of this, none of this is moving. Click the like button. Also leave a comment down below. What did you think about the video? Uh, do you have any tips or tricks that you want to share with us? Drop it down below. My name is DJ from Character Brotherhood. I'll see you guys in the next video.